Okay, so this morning we are going to test out the Beeline Moto 2 sat nav. Um, so this is it. Let's get it out and have a look at it. I've already downloaded the app on my phone, so let's just. I'm going to go to work this morning. Let's just add the work location in. CW. Eight two H B Chester Road Oakmere, that's the one. Save, save, and go. Right, I shall just put that in my pocket. Uh, tells you what to do there. Follow this arrow. Okay. Tells you the distance to the next turn. Yeah, okay. Direction of next turn, fantastic. Roundabout and lane route indicator, yeah, fantastic. Journey progress, sounds good. And off route, it'd be like I can't auto route, follow this arrow back to the route. Fantastic. Right, so I'm just going to put this in my pocket now. I'm going to get the bike out, put the sat nav on the handlebar, and off we go. Let's see how it performs. Right, so that's the bit we're going to be using to attach it around the handlebar. I think we'll stick it right in the middle, eh? So, rubber band over that, through the handlebar, and over the other side. Another rubber band under that, and over the other side, and they just hook into place like that. Seems pretty sturdy. Will this go on? Right, where's the on switch? Ah, that one. Okay, let's ride, it says. So, uh, let's get that clicked on put these uh, extras back in the box uh, okay looks pretty clear first glance let's just tilt it down a bit hopefully you'll see this on the camera because camera's on the side of the helmet but uh, if not we can do another video gloves on it's wet cold and rainy this morning so I'm just going to pop my heated gloves on right hopefully you can see that sat nav there well, let's start up And get going. So it is saying go straight on for 300 meters. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Right, so right, it's now saying it's flashing up saying five kilometers time I'm going to be turning left so I would normally go left here but sat nav is going straight on so let's uh, do exactly as we're told I must admit it's a really clear display it's really easy to put the app on the phone just simply type in where you want to go And it takes you there. So, 30 miles an hour road. So, okay, we're down to 3.9 kilometers now. I'm sure you could change that to miles as well. We'll have a look at that. But um, at this moment in time, it's simply saying follow this road. So, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're filming this with a drift camera that we've got mounted to the helmet. We've got an external microphone plugged in and we've got that just inside the chin skirt just simply for the commentary but the drift cameras are absolutely superb uh, the video quality is good and with the external mics plugged in the audio quality is very good as well right so we're down to meters now where it wants us to turn just going to take us to the traffic lights there's a little cut through here so I'm just going to try the cut through and see if it corrects itself um, rather than go all the way down to the uh, traffic lights so I'm just going to use this cut through so has it corrected us at the moment no but it has now yeah so it's uh, realized that we've gone a different route and it's just auto corrected uh, which is fabulous so 
you can see the road, you can see the road we're on, it's auto-corrected, you can see the road we're going to join, brilliant, so uh, it does auto-correct. I didn't actually use the original Beeline sat-nav, which was apparently just a arrow, there we go, apparently just an arrow, um, and it didn't show the actual road, or the shape of the road, um, so that's an improvement that they've done with this one. We now get, um, you can see the uh, lay of the land if you like. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, pretty impressed so far. Especially if you struggle for somewhere to put like a large sat-nav on your motorcycle. This is superb because it takes up no space at all. Like, like you can see I've got it between my uh, handlebar mounts there. It fits in quite nicely. Got a little fairing on the bike, but it seems pretty stable. It doesn't seem like it's going to go anywhere, even though it's just held on with those two bands. And um, of course, the beauty is that it just twists off. It's really easy to remove. Pop in your pocket. It's that small, it'll go in any pocket, won't it? So, right, so next direction is two kilometers. It's a roundabout, it says, so it's giving the indication that we're heading 1.6 kilometres to a roundabout. And in the middle of the little roundabout logo, I don't know whether you can see it or not, but it's got a number two. So that obviously indicates that we're going to be taking the second exit off the roundabout. So 200 yards is flashing to warn us. We're coming to a roundabout and we want to take the second exit. Fantastic. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so it's got a little red. Ah, that must indicate just traffic lights, I think. Don't know whether you saw that then, it just uh, kicked a little red box up. Must be a traffic light box. Right, okay, so I can see a little checkered flag on the screen. Um, and destination. All oh, right, okay, so that little circle on the right-hand side is now on 97, and we're nearly there. So I'm assuming that that is um, percentage of journey done, and we're currently at 97%. Maybe that's it. Okay, so I didn't set an exact location, I just set a postcode, so it's saying we've arrived. Um, as it is, we've got another 200 yards to go. But yeah, that's, that's impressive, that's pretty good telling us to turn around now uh, yeah th that no, I'm impressed with that it was so easy there was no setting up involved uh, really to, or you know minimal um, for the price of it absolutely fantastic and of course this is going to be available in all our JNS stores so if you want a sat nav and you don't want to put your phone on your bike and you don't want to put a huge sat nav or invest in a huge sat nav then this is the thing for you it's the beeline moto 2 happy days Okay, so um, we've got some footage of me riding in with the Beeline 2, the new sat nav. Mm -hmm. um, I winged it basically, I downloaded the app onto my phone, put the postcode in <coughs> and winged it this morning because uh, I'm not very tech savvy. Um, so the footage of all that is, is uh, on this video. But now what we're going to do is get Jake to have a look at it because he is tech savvy. Um, he's, going in, he's going in blind because I've left the instructions at home. Apologies. Right, uh, so I know how to switch it on. Uh, it's that bottom there. So that switches it on. There you go, Jake. Okay. Um, and what we're going to do now, without instructions, is just basically have a go through um, some of the options and see if we can uh, see if it. Uh... It's neat, isn't it? What's all that about? So that is your telling you which way is up basically all right okay um so basically this morning uh, we did the ride in 
it says the time elapsed it also says the moving time so it has stationary time at traffic lights and moving time the distance and the average speed so it's just said it's paired to your phone there yeah so what do some of these other buttons do that's what we're uh, interested in about the top one that one Oh, options. options okay so top button gives you the option screen right button tells you about it about umpire, umpire research, research legal, legal, jargon. legal jargon that's your serial number okay is it as simple as just oh i've turned it off yeah so it could be just as simple as putting it on your phone typing in the postcode and away you go uh, let's have a look at the phone then. So, what is if we go back? Uh, what are some of these settings here? Well, it says their plan ride, doesn't it? Yeah. What about settings? Because I was in kilometres this morning. Um, Distance unit. There you go. Kilometres. Right. So we change that to miles now. Okay. Uh, miles and feet. Miles and yards. Miles and meters. We'll go miles and meters. Okay. Right, okay. So when you go back, which it does, time fact 24 hours. That is so simple. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that you would like to know about it, Jake? Um, other than the simplicity of, which is what I liked, download the app. Right, okay. Switch that on. It asks, it, you go through a, a couple of pages of jargon, but then you literally put the postcode in and it takes you there. So I can just plan ride. Yeah start from current location and I don't know let's go random gummy nan's house yeah Tell fast us. and fun so there's two different options okay that's good so there's a fast route or a fun route so you can choose between those two that's quite a nice little feature and it's only a minute longer <laughs> right I would imagine the fast route is going to be maybe direct the fun route might be a little bit twisted through a couple of the back lanes as I go there. Get you. So then what, you can save that route for... You can save that route. go again. Yeah. One way, any distance. And you just hit go. And, oh, it comes up on there. Straight away, yeah. And the display, we'll have a look at the display in a bit more detail now. So, as opposed to the early one, which is basically an arrow, and then the amount of metres, and then the arrow would turn left, it can count you down the metres. This actually gives you the lay of the land. Um, That's quite cool. Yeah, it is. Um, it was dead easy to follow this morning. Um, I did a cut through as well, um, just to see if it would then reschedule, and it did. Um, it caught up within literally 10 seconds and said, right, if you're gonna go this way, you need to go here, 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 here. So it was impressive. Um, I'm impressed with it. If you want, you can stick it on your bike and... Um, re -re and see, that's probably because we're inside, isn't it? Yeah, I was going to say, because we're in that yeah. tin roof, aren't we? But no, I mean... <coughs> and that's just to, I assume, that red bit at the top's just to end the route early, I'm assuming. Uh, well, when that was on, I didn't know whether that was indicating traffic lights or not. All oh, right, um, okay. But anyway, yeah, so, yeah, oh, yeah it, so it, it gets a thumbs yeah. up. Dead easy, dead simple. Um, I mean, if I could do it, anyone can do it, to be fair. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that, that is true. true. You Correct. can work it, anyone can. Absolutely. So, yeah, it's the Beeline 2 sat-nav. Thumbs up.